Hey guys, welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. My name is Stacy, and today I'm gonna to teach you about how I created the Nihi Moluscata graphic. He reached out to me asking if I could help him with the graphic to announce that he signed up with the Otago Highlanders recently. I was really humbled that he reached out to me. To be honest, I've never done a jersey swap before, so I was a bit nervous about doing it, but I'm pretty stoked how it came about. Actually, I was so stoked that it ended up even being on One News, New Zealand's national news. So that was a um, bit of a freaky moment seeing that pop up then. But what I want to do is I want to take you through step by step all the different layers that I did to help create this graphic and hopefully inspire you to create your own graphics as well. So let's dive into it. So here we have the final graphic and you can see on the right hand side here, there's a whole lot of layers to it. Um, what I like doing is I actually like keeping them in folders just to sort of keep it nice and clean and they're all stacked in there nicely and so you can see each folder has its own bunch of layers inside it. So what I'll do is I'll untag all these here and we'll start from the bottom and work our way to the top. So if we look at this texture here, if I click on that one there, I've got a bit of different textures along here. So you can see I've got a paper texture, I've also got a smoke cloud, and also use dust particles as well. So if I turn those off and on, they're very subtle, we can't really see it. So if I can see the dust particle here, you can zoom in there and see these dust particles over the, the background text there, or sorry, background layer. If I zoom back out, um, I can add that on and the smoke is for when I have um, Nihi in the background so I'll show you more about that as we go through and then I've just got a paper texture which I just found online I just thought it'd be quite a cool background there. Um, the next is the grass so this here is a grass I've used from a stadium and what I did here with the stadium one is just actually if I uh, disable that layer you can see that there's the full stadium shot. I've actually used that twice I've used that also used it up here which I'll show you shortly. But if again, if I reactivate that, you can see I've just used the grass because the grass that was used before with Nihi jumping, I wasn't, didn't quite like it, so I kind of used this one here. And then what I've done on top of that, I've put a gradient map on there to so give it a bit more color as well. So taking the green down a little bit. How I've done that is just by going up to adjustments, click on adjustments, looking for gradient map, click on gradient map, click on that, click on the orange color, click OK and then I, what I do is I click on uh, soft light and what you've got to do is make sure you just apply it to this grass here so you make sure you highlight your your layer here hit on the option key and when your cursor changes that's when you tap on your cursor and you can see it's just applied to this one here. So that's the grass and then I've also got another grunge texture so I put that over top so you can see this grunge texture if I turn that off and on how that looks just adding another dynamic to the graphic so if I click on the drop down there it's just this grunge texture here which I just again just found online and then just added that on there and what you can see I've just pulled this here all the way back to about nine percent because if I put it to a hundred percent sort of that's what it looks like there so if I pull it all the way back probably till about yeah, 9%, 10%. I kind of like the subtleness of it there. Um, I'll come to the Highlanders logo because I'll show you that later on, I'll come back to that. Again, here's that stadium shot I talked about just a moment ago, used for the grass. See these, that how it appears here. So if I click on that folder drop down, you can see again, I've just used a, a layer mask over top. If I take that layer mask off, that there's how it looks. So that there's the grass I use for down here and I had this stadium coming, uh, showing in the background there. So if I apply that, how I do that is just by clicking on the layer mask, so I click on that, then, so I'll just delete that just so I can show you how, I, how that works. So I've got the layer mask, clicked on that, and then I went Command-I to invert that, come over to my brush tool, and put it at about 20%, and then what I do is I expand the size of the brush by put, hitting the right arrow, um, bracket. So then I just brush that on ever so slightly. So you can see here, it just comes out quite nicely, and then just go back over again. So take your cursor off, and then back on again, and then that's how you keep adding some density to the image. And I kind of like that, I kind of sort of wanted, that's how I want it to be. So just subtly in the background, so that's the stadium done. Added another texture of some smoke, so you can sort of see how I've just added some smoke there. So if I click on that folder and click on the drop down, again, I've got the smoke um, 
layer, but also used a mask over top of it. So just brought it in where I needed it. So how I did that, just like we did before, um, if I just delete that layer, and I'll show you how that looks. So that there's how the smoke looks all over that there. And then so I come down here to the mask, clicked on the mask, Command I to invert that, and then I just brushed it in how I need it. And you can sort of see how it appears here like that. Again, making sure it's only about 20%, and then just bring it back in. So just using your cursor to scrub that back in. So then we go up to the layer here with Nikki jumping. And you can see originally the image I used was, was him wearing a Hurricanes jersey. So with him signing now to Otago, there was no jersey, no shot of him actually wearing a Highlanders jersey. So I had to um, apply that jersey on top of that. I think I found the jersey from online. I think it might even just be an image of the jersey cut out, maybe like, um, in this, you know, like in a shop or in the store, I just searched um, Highlanders jersey, and then I applied that to that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do another tutorial showing exactly how I applied um, the jersey on top of what Nahi was wearing, because I don't want this video to be too long. So this is a breakdown of actually how to create this graphic. I'll then create another tutorial about how I actually applied the jersey to Nahi on top of the Hurricanes jersey. So then what I did, so that, that's how I came about doing that. So if we zoom in on that, you can see how it fits all quite nicely around. Also what I did is I rinsed to his image through um, Lightroom as well. So if I take that layer off, you can sort of see how he looks a little bit pale there compared to what I've got here. So what I did is I rinsed that through Lightroom. I just added a bit of color, a bit of depth and a bit of darkness to it, tinge of orange just to add a bit more light to it as well. So a, a bit of a, a way to sort of create a bit more graphic to style um, to the shot as opposed to a photo style, if that makes sense. So then what I've also got here is a shadow underneath Nahi. If I see, if you see, I turn that on and off. So that gives it the realistic look of him actually being in the air. How I did that was just actually getting an eclipse tool. And by doing that, this is coming over here to your shapes, clicking on eclipse, and then just putting the shadow underneath here. So if I just created a shadow, and then what you do is you add a blur to that as well. So you add a Gussin blur to that, and then that just creates the look of it being um, just subtly underneath him as well. So that's how you do that. Then what I've got, um, I've got Nihi behind him. So the big shot of Nihi behind him. So actually again, um, this here was another shot. And what I did was I just used him wearing an All Blacks jersey, and then just applied the Highlanders jersey over top of that. So if I turn that off like that, you can see how it's just can't just put a place it on top of that. Again, I'll create another tutorial about how I put the jersey over top of him because it was a bit of a challenge. I had to find somebody that was in that angle that Nihi is, is here. You can see his shoulders drop back with his other shoulder forward. So I had to find somebody wearing the jersey in the same sort of way to make it look realistic and what it looks like he's actually wearing it. And then I'd put another gradient map over top of that as well. So you can see um, I put a gradient map of um, what we did, it's very similar to before. So just by going adjustments and then clicking on a gradient map and then finding the gradient that you need like this one here and then changing that to soft light. And then bringing this down to about 30% or about 20% actually. And that's how we created that. Um, and then I added, added another bit of texture over top. So that texture there is a light beam that's coming through the background there. If I click on that. So what I did is I actually found this on online. Just I typed in um, lens flare. And you can see how I've just brought that in. So I've just used a layer mask here, as you can see. Again, just using applying a layer mask. And then I've also used some smoke here as well. So if I turn that on and off, you can see that there's some smoke just behind Nihi over here. Again, if I can show you that. Again, by using a layer mask, so I clicked on the layer mask here, applied the layer mask, and then used the brush tool to bring that through. And then we've got the Highlanders logo, as we talked about before. So you can see the Highlanders logo subtly here in the background. How I did that, I just searched the Highlanders logo online, um, put that up here. If I take the um, layer mask off, you can see how it looks quite bold there. So then all I did was just get a layer mask, add that apply to it, and then just brush that back in and only just brushed it into over here as well. And then I just added a bit of color, took a bit of color out of it, because you can see here, see the yellow there? So I drew a bit of color out of that using the um, hue or saturation, just by clicking on adjustments, coming down to hue and just uh, saturation, clicked on that, 
and then just um, reduce the side to reduce the hue and the adjust um, saturation in that and just to really pull back that yellow and then the last part of it was adding Nikki's name down the bottom here so the font that I use for that is uh, what I call Gotham and then also put a drop shadow underneath it as well so if you can see I put a drop shadow here just to give it a bit more depth as well so making sure that it's in white and just giving a bit of depth using a drop shadow so there you have it guys, I hope you got some value out of that one there. Like I say, I'll take you through another tutorial um, about how I actually changed the jersey that he was wearing, going from a Hurricanes jersey and putting on top of a Highlanders jersey or an All Blacks jersey and putting on top of a Highlanders jersey. There's a bit more detail to that, so I didn't want to bore you too much with that detail in this tutorial. I just wanted to show you how I created those layers. But if this is something you're into, um, please comment below if you would like to see me create that video of how to put the jersey on top of him. Um, it would really be interesting to hear if you find some value in that. And maybe hit the subscribe button below as well and also the bell notification. That way you won't miss out on any other tutorials I create. Again, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it and I can't wait to see you in the next one. I'll see you then.